Hi everyone. Okay, it's time to yeet today. I can't wait. I love throwing paint around. Okay, so my canvas is a deep edge again. Uh, it's 30 by 60 centimeters or 12 by 24 inches. So I'll bring the camera closer and we'll have a look at the colors I'll be using. So the colors. Okay, first of all, my base. Um, this is a mix of titanium white, a um, little bit of Winsor Newton paints, just to sort of, you know, make it sort of a light, light grey. And some Amsterdam silver, which actually made it more of a light blue, I think. Grey blue, let's call it that. Okay, and then my uh, yeet colours. <laughs> I can't wait. Uh, this one is um, a custom orange that I mixed with uh, Amsterdam uh, pearl, uh, pearl red mixed in. I'll pop the, um, uh, the recipe for that one in the description box below. Uh, <clears throat> same for this one, which is an Amsterdam ultramarine pearl blue and liquid X white. Okay. And then I have some new Arteza uh, uh, pearlescent and um, metallic paints. They are lovely. And this one's the uh, Arctic Blue. And this one here is a Sage Green. Okay. I've mixed all these um, Yeats colors with uh, Amsterdam. No, sorry, Liquid Exploring Medium because I'm almost out of uh, uh, European flow troll. So, yeah. I don't think that's going to cause anything unexpected. I've used it a lot, but I just tend to use the uh, Overtrawl or the EU Flow Troll more often. So, without further ado, let's get to uh, painting. Well, I really had to torch that one. Good grief. Yeah, I mixed these paints like at least 36 hours ago, but there's still a lot of uh, air bubbles going on in some of them. So never mind, we will just uh, torch them. Okay, so what I will do now is grab my cup and just put a little bit of each color in there so I'm gonna do green sky blue uh, the arctic blue and then the yellow not yellow <laughs> orange rather <laughs> that is not yellow <laughs> okay so just a little bit on the bottom and then just wait for it to come close to the edge. Phew, here goes. Never done this before. So let's yeet. Cool. Oh, good grief. <laughs> I'm glad I've got that cardboard there. That all went on the cardboard. Oops. <laughs> okay. Let's do this again. Well, I did not want to do that. I just scraped the canvas. Oh no! Oh no! This is such messy business. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, that's closing up. Thank goodness for that. Oh, this is not that easy. Really isn't. <laughs> oh. Mina makes it look so easy. 
How does she do that? Okay. I absolutely love it. This I love this minimalist look with plenty of uh, plenty of um, uh, negative space. Yeah, this is cool. Wonder what would happen if I spun this out. But I'm not gonna. Not this time. I might do that next time. I uh, I do this because believe you me, I will be doing this again. That's so cool. I freaking love doing that. <laughs> okay, I still have a little bit of paint here, so I'm just gonna try and aim to that corner there. Just a little. I oh, keep doing that. It's in the canvas. Just the last little bits. I'm gonna leave it at that. That is so cool. Oh my god, how much fun! Wow. Okay. This is this is so cool. Oh look at that. What I call corkscrew. A lot of you call it a unicorn horn. That's so amazing. Wow. Yeah, that is excellent. <laughs> yay, yay. <laughs> I can't believe how chuffed I am about throwing paint. Yay. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I just got more than a little excited there. Okay, I'm going <clears> to <throat> tidy up and then I will bring you in for a close-up of the wet, wet results. Now for the wet results. Let me just turn the camera to where I am. Oh, that was so much fun. I Oh, my goodness. This is my second favourite technique now, I think. I just love flinging paint around. It's awesome. So cool. And, you know, the shapes it makes. I really don't even mind that one fairly solid block of um, orange just there. And look at that, that corkscrew or uh, unicorn horn, whatever you want to call it. It is so awesome. Oh, and that one. I love how the paint does that, just sort of turns over on itself before it uh, lands. Um, I tidied up the table. Um, there was hardly anything there to tidy up. That's one of the beauties of this uh, technique, I think maybe scraped off two, three tablespoons of the base paint because you just use, only use as much base paint as as you need to cover the canvas. And then the uh, yeet colors, apart from a little drop here on, th on the table and uh, that one there, <laughs> oops, <laughs> it's all on the canvas. So yeah, very, very paint economical as well, I think. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. I'll be doing more of these for sure. So I will be back with the uh, dried results. Here is the dried result. Right, while this was drying, I was watching some of uh, some of uh, Mina's um, Yeats paws, and <laughs> I don't know. I should be embarrassed about all this. But, you know, it was the first try. But what's pretty upsetting is these cracks. See how the paint's cracked just there? There. There. <laughs> oh, my good grief. Just there. And, yeah, in a lot of places. Not huge cracks, but cracks nonetheless. That looks like a snake. Head. <laughs> but anyway, um, I was thinking I should scrap this um, or reuse the canvas. But do you know what I'm going to do? I am going to resin this and keep it as a memento of uh, my very first try. You know, it is a mess compared to what, you know, can be produced. But, you know, it's worth the uh, learning experience, I think. But I'd love to hear what you think. What would you do? Would you scrap it, start again, or do what I'm doing, keep it? That's a nice, nice corkscrew just there. And I think there was another one somewhere that I called. Oh, there. 
just that one there it's pretty cute right but yeah let me know what you'd do um if you feel like it give me a like and a comment and if you haven't already please subscribe but most of all thanks so much for being here with me today i'll speak to you next time bye bye